Welcome back everyone, this is Mare here. In today's video, we'll be finding the minimum distance between the curves y equals negative e to the x and y equals x minus 2 squared plus 3. So let's denote this as y1 and this as y2. So the line of shortest distance between the two curves will be perpendicular to the two curves, meaning that the tangent lines of each curve at their respective points will be parallel, which also means that the derivatives at the two points will be equal. So here we have the two curves. This equation corresponds to this curve, and this equation corresponds to this one here. We can visually see that the line of shortest distance will occur somewhere around here, where the tangent lines will be parallel, just like so, meaning that the corresponding derivatives will be equal. However, this problem becomes difficult because the two points from which the shortest line will be drawn do not have to have the same x value. We can see from the graph that this x value here at this lower point is not equal to the x value here at this higher point. So let's get into this. The derivative of y equals negative e to the x, let's have that as y1, is y prime 1 equals negative e to the x. It's just the same thing. And the derivative of y2 equals x minus 2 squared plus 3. The derivative is 2 times x minus 2. We will now set the derivatives equal to find where the tangent lines are parallel. However, since the x values do not have to be equal, we will introduce an x1 and an x2 to distinguish between them. So we have the two derivatives right here, and we're going to set these two equal. So 2 times x minus 2 equals negative e to the x. However, we will insert x2 and x1, as I explained previously. So we'll have an x2 right here and an x1 right here. So to find what x2 needs to equal when x1 is a certain value, which is just isolating for x2, the equation can be rewritten as x2 equals negative e to the x1 divided by 2 plus 2. And again, that's just isolating for x2 here. So this equation right here, this equation takes x1 as its input, so x1 as its input, and then computes what x2 needs to be, x2, in order for y2 of x, which is the quadratic, to have the same derivative as y1 of x, which is the exponential. So now we have the equation x2 equals negative e to the x1 over 2 plus 2. So this means that for any value x1, x2 can also be found. And then the y value for each point can also be found. So x1 corresponds with y1 of x. So to find y1, we can plug in x1 into y1 of x. So y1 of x1 equals negative e to the x1. And we can do the same thing for x2 and y2. So y2 of x2 equals x2 minus 2 squared plus 3. So here we simply just plugged in x1 and x2 into the corresponding equations. So it is now time to check which value for x1 gives the shortest distance between the points x1, y1 and x2, y2. So let's have d represent the distance. The standard distance formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So now we will replace the y coordinates with the functions y1 of x1 and y2 of x2. So let's write this out. Distance equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 of x2 minus y1 of x1, so these are the actual functions here, squared, all within the square root. And so now we can replace x2 with what it's equal to. So it's equal to negative e to the x1 
as you guys may recall before, over 2, plus 2. And since we want to get everything in terms of x1, this will be quite a useful little replacement. So d now of x1, since that's going to be our input, is equal to large square root here, negative e to the x1, since that's replacing the x2 there, over 2, plus 2, minus x1, and all of this squared, plus y2 of x2, which again we can replace, negative e to the x1, over 2, plus 2, minus y1 of x1, and all of this, again, squared. All right, so now we have this equation here, and the final thing we can do is replace y1 and y2 with the actual functions that they represent. So remember that y2 equals x minus 2 squared plus 3, so we'll take this input here, and we will subtract 2, square it, and add 3. And remember that y1 of x equals negative e to the x, and so we can rewrite this here as well. And so the final result, the final equation, once we replace all of that, will look like this. And so there you have it. That is the final distance formula that finds the value of x1 that yields the minimum distance between the two curves. All right, guys, so here, as you guys saw, is the final distance formula. And when it is graphed, here's a picture of it graphed on Desmos, we can see that the minimum value occurs right here. And it occurs at x1 equals negative 0.512, with the distance being 4.302 units. So the minimum distance here between these two curves is 4.302 units. So here's the final visual of the exact distance and the exact points which yield the shortest line. So as I said before, the x1 value is negative 0.512, the x2 value is 1.7, and the two y values are negative 0.599 and 3.09. And this distance here is 4.302. So thanks for watching, everyone. I think this is a very interesting problem. Feel free to try out this method with functions of your own, and let us know how it goes in the comments. Thanks for watching.